as I just said. I was wanting to pause that so I can put it on Instagram. So I wanted to be on live sharing this information. Also wanted to record it as well so I can have it at both times. So thanks for the light, whoever that was. So um, glad I had this light on. Um, so as I was saying, um, that is the name, the mark, uh, um, the name and the number, but the mark is going to be this RFID chip that they've been putting into the animals since since um, 1987, starting in Orange County, California, right? Now, by that, that's the RFID chip that they use with a satellite to uh, to track the animals or pets, but or not, but and now. What they're doing is they have a a um, uh, some nanobots in the vaccine that they're planning on implanting in the people uh, in this vaccination they're planning on doing very soon. And also, they program you to go back to work. So now that if you need these jobs, when you if you if you uh, not quit if you don't uh, accept the vaccine or vaccination flu shots whatever it is, they're gonna they're gonna fire you. So, this is a way to make you stay in their system or make you accept their system. Even though the system has already been disannulled and really evaporated, but the people that don't know that keeps the, 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 the system moving. By keeping the system moving, that means that you give this system life. The more you give this system life, the more this system keeps its track record running with you being a slave attached to the system. Now, I, I said all that to say that everyone is, like I said, everyone is a product of the system. As long as you have a birth certificate, social security card, and ID card linked to this system. 501c3 as well as the UCCs. If you are part of the 501c3 and the UCCs, you are still officially chattel slavery to this system. By you being chattel slavery to this system, the system can come in, kick your dough in, and make you and, and actually take you to uh, concentration camps. By you being a part of this system, because they own you. It, like I said once before, have you seen the Django when um when uh um the woman, well, well uh, when the Django's wife was property of her slave master, he could have smashed her head in because she owned, you know, she was owned by him. He owned her, according to the system. So, and according to paperwork. See, and this is what a lot of people feel to realize. I got a lot of Hebrew brothers out there, the Hebrew sisters, think that all we got to do is keep the commandments and we'll be all right which I don't doubt. But the Father always give you a way to handle yourself, to, to, to do certain things. Everything is not about one thing. The Father gives you a way out. I mean, when a deaf angel came through Egypt, for example, if they didn't put the lamb's blood over, over the, the mantle, keeping the commandments or not, you died. Whether you understood you died if in the time of Egypt, when they was coming out of Egypt, just before they came out of Egypt, if they didn't put the lamb blood across the door, you died. Whether you understood that or not. So what I'm sharing with you right now, indexing is the blood over the mantle. Indexing is the blood over the mantle. And if any of you Hebrew Israelites brothers and sisters of anybody out there know the creator's word if you know the creator's word he said the day of the lord is not pleasant the day of the lord is darkness and gloom if you know the day of our father so all of you who is not prepared getting yourselves together Mainly coming out from among her, which are coming out of this system, this uh, this Babylonian system, which is really the corporation all over the world, worldwide, under the, the under the thumbnail of the Pope, 
the Vatican, the uh, United States, which is their armed forces, as well as the Queen of England, which all have been sued by Dr. Hindu I.L. Henderson back in 2005. This is prophecy happening at this, in this day and time. People not realizing it. Y'all not understanding it. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't get off of money that 501c3 and the UCCs, which is all of and under the Pope, you're going to go down with them. We're in Revelation, we're in the end of Revelation 12 now. As well as the prophecies is all, if, once you look in Revelation, everything that's, majority of everything spoken in Revelation, you can see it in the law or in the prophets, in the Tanakh. Or shall I say, uh, in the Tanakh, not the Torah, but it's there as well. The Tanakh, when the prophet spoke. You can see a lot of this stuff is going on today. I could break it down, but it'd take a long time break showing you different situations in Revelations that's dealing in Daniel, uh, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and many other places in there. So, in Ezekiel. Might as well put in there. Definitely can put Ezekiel in there. But um, all this stuff is going on right now. But it all depends on where you stand, what you're doing, and what you're trying to do because it's going to be a lot of people who's going to pass with the influence of this system. Now, just to share with y'all the influence of the system right now, since I done gave you all that about the, the mark of the beast, the name and the number, I done shared that with you. By me sharing that, I wanted y'all to understand this voting. But if anyone go out there and vote, number one, when you become indexed, you don't have to vote. You're not a part of the system. You're not part of the system when you're voting. What's up, Shay? How you doing? Shay Judah. Shalom, my sister. Glad you're in. Glad somebody's looking and listening, but I've just put it out there just so people can know. Hopefully someone get a chance to see this live and check it out. But um, what I'm sharing with you is this. Um... I lost my train of thought right then. But what I was saying is that um, there's voting. That's what I was getting at. Anyone who go out there and vote, it's just like when you go fishing, right? They're, they're fishing right now. Go vote, go vote. That's the bait. Go vote, go vote. Go out there and vote. They're throwing the bait out there to you. When you go out there and vote, they got a snag. They snagging. They reeling you in. You know why? They're going to reel you in after you go vote because now they know who household to go to to kick your dough in, get you at gunpoint because you're owned by them. Anyone who votes in this system, you're owned by this system already because you have a birth certificate, social security card, and ID card connected to this system. And, and whether if you are indexed and you go out there and vote, you have put yourself back into their system because you have disannulled yourself and put yourself back into their system in order for them to be over you. You got to understand the system for what it is. And all you so-called over-spiritually people that don't understand that it, everything is physical, mental, and spiritual. Physical, mental, and spiritual. Spiritually, we know it's of the Lord, word and, and, and the laws and the commandments and, and the uh, prophecies. That's all spiritual. And how we're supposed to live. The mentality is the way we think on things on, on how we act with those spiritual situations and how we conduct ourselves. That's mental. But physical is how you live on this earth. Physically, you have to live on this earth. And right now, physically... Satan, this has been Satan's empire for the last 2,000 years, as we can say. It's been probably been longer than that, but we just say the last 2,000 years. It's been Satan's empire. Speaks it in Matthew chapter 1, I'm sorry, Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 through 11. He tells you who he is, you know? Just making sure we're still recording on the other one because I'm going to post this later too. Uh, on other on other um, avenues. So, by this happening, by this being Satan's empire, <clears throat> Matthew chapter four, verse eight through eleven, I believe that is. 
check that out. So now we're coming out because Dr. Henderson sued the Vatican, the Pope, the United States, as well as the Queen of England, as far as I'm concerned, and he has sued the corporations worldwide. By him doing this, everyone that becomes indexed or get indexed, and all you got to do, number one, I want you to do two things. Look up Google Dr. Hindu I.L. Henderson. Hindu I.L. Henderson. Look him up, Google him, check him out, and research him. That's one. Number two is go into SOVCPR.com or .org. SOVCPR.com or .org. Check the information out. Once you go in there, check out the archive. You'll see a lot of information. You'll see how to, if you if I'm not around you to get indexed, go in there. You'll see an indexing point. It'll tell you what you need to do to get indexed. If I I would like to help you. Um, that's what we're having classes for. We're trying to help people on the spot. If you like for me to come to your city, your town, let me know. I'll come there, help you out, you and as many people as I can, to help get them indexed out of this system. But I'm sharing with you. Once you vote, once you go out there and vote, a lot of people don't have the knowledge and don't have the understanding that by voting, you're in their system. And I want you to get, this is something me and my boy Russell came up with. I want you to get a Black Law Dictionary, one through five dictionary. Look up the word uh, sovereign. Sovereign people. Sovereign state, sovereign, uh, uh, is it sovereign, sovereignty, I think that's how I go, and sovereign. I think though, I think it was four or five, there may have been six different sovereigns that we looked at, but look at them. Sovereign state puts you in their, um, in their, um, dominion because you don't have a full capacity of who you are. So that's what you know. We can walk around and we can say, I know my rights, but they can do what they want. That's one of the reasons why these cops is around here killing a lot of people in the streets, a lot of our people in the streets mostly, but they're killing people, doing what they want to do because they, we have given them, I'm not, not me, but the people have given them power and don't even realize it. They need to start researching the things that you need to know. Look up sovereign, look up sovereign state, get you a Black's Law Dictionary, check this information out. It's things that people are going to put themselves in, this is the reason why it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. By thou rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou should be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God or thy father, and I will also forget thy children. Who is the children? We are the children of our ancestors back in those days. But a lot of us are waking up. And a lot of us think we're woke and still sleep. Or still trying to get the cold out of our eyes, trying to wake up. It might be too late. It's time to jump on board and find out what's going on. So I'm sharing what you need to know. Okay, I'm going to pause this.